All right. Uh, my game of the week um, was not a very high scoring affair. Um, it was Eagles Saints. Hell of a game. I yeah, I thought so game. too, but this isn't this isn't t- typically like an NFL fans' uh, preferred game. Uh, the one the time I start where she, uh, derailing my my segment. Um, yeah, <laughs> the Eagles didn't score any of their points until the fourth quarter. Um, it was three nothing until the fourth quarter, um, and. Really, the, the, the main focus here is the, the Eagles' physicality on defense because Jalen Carter and all the playmakers on the Eagles' defense were sticking it to the New Orleans Saints. Rashid Shaheed was uh, blanked in this there game. They tried five to targets. go his way five times. Derek Carr loves trying to get the ball to Rashid Shaheed, and he was barely missed that deep ball on targets. Yeah. So the, the Eagles' defense really did kind of save them in this game. It took three full quarters before the Eagles offense could put anything in the end zone. And Jalen Hurts had two turnovers. So, I mean, he, yeah, he ended up with over 300 yards and and looked impressive here and there, but like he almost gave the damn game away. If the Saints had a slightly better game plan or looked like they did in weeks one or two, this very easily could have been three and zero for the New Orleans Saints. Uh, but this also, to me, speaks to how good that Eagles Eagles roster is. Uh, they had a lot of injuries in this game, especially on the offensive side. Lane Johnson went down. Mecky or uh, 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 Mackay Becton. Went oh, down. so did uh, Devontae Smith got knocked the fuck out. Knocked oh, yeah. out. Yeah, he got it's knocked out cold. Yes, so, that was uh, wild. The Eagles are probably going to be leaning pretty hard on Saquon Barkley here in the upcoming weeks. Oh, um, AJ that, Brown that, will probably be back. Hopefully, well, yeah, but that Eagles defense, even without offensive production, it looks like they can damn near win a game for them. Sick nasty, yeah, they, sick nasty defense. And, and I mean, Jalen Carter only had four total tackles, but he was an absolute monster. He was he was just setting aside grown men on the mm-hmm. offensive line for the New Orleans Saints. So. Yeah, no that that uh, that that front the defensive front box uh, for the Eagles is terrifying, honestly. Uh, would not, well, not would not want to have to try and run the ball uh, through that. <laughs> let's not through overlook the fact either because the Eagles' offense was putrid this entire game, and if it was even though the defense was great and holding the Saints to to only twelve points, if it was not for that spectacular catch at the end of the game from Dallas Goddard to get him yeah. a majority of his one hundred and seven, hey, it was yards. a great play call though. It was a fantastic play call, but if it was not route? for that, if it Those was not for Renos? that play for that. Yeah. Catch and run after the run after was the biggest piece. If it was not for that play, the Eagles walk away losers of this game. Absolutely, you're correct, one hundred percent. But that's all you need sometimes. It's just one one good play. Yeah, and the fact the fact that it's, they were even in it is is yeah is there's is, a million different to how good that defense is because yeah. the, the New Orleans Saints had opportunity after opportunity. And- Listen, man. There's a, there's a million different ways to win a football game. That was definitely one of them. It's not it's not a fun one. It's not a uh, it's not a glamorous one. But they fucking won, man. Like but I know, I'm the I know Eagles. New York fans are absolutely just New York Giants fans are in shambles because they decided to pay Daniel Jones over Saquon Barkley. That move, terrible move. Well, they he, they won. Saquon Barkley looks like he should have been an Eagle all along. <laughs> the Giants won. Yeah. Uh, if I'm the if I'm the front What's office, right I, now, Tommy. Huh? One What's and two? record right now. One and two. Okay. Same as the Raiders. Fair enough. And we if didn't I pay for a nice quarterback. <laughs> Eagles are two and one. Uh, I would I would point out that for myself, if I was uh, part of this Eagles front office. Nick Sirianni still on the hot seat. This isn't this isn't hater. I'm <sighs> taking it. I'm taking it from what they've done in the past because that was one thing that I didn't cover as well uh, that I thought about. I've been mulling this over all week. The Eagles fired Doug Peterson two years within two years after he won a Super Bowl. Yep, and his starting quarterback was out for all of those three years prior, mm-hmm. primarily, right? So the Eagles are known for moving on when they feel that they need to. Well, it's just because the fans. It's just because the fans. Or the fans. But they lose this game, and it was not a convincing win. 
even yeah, though it he's... was against what could be a good Saints team, yeah. he still has to be on the he hot seat because last week. how do you barely <laughs> win? How do you only score 15 points? Your quarterback throws for 311 yards. Your running back runs for 147 yards. Your tight end goes for 170 yards. Devontae Smith, before he gets knocked out, has 80. And you still only walk away three-point winners with 15 points in this game. Nick Sirianni has to be on the hot seat. Should they go on a losing streak, say it's three, four games over the next few weeks, which is possible, I would not be surprised if the Philadelphia Eagles fire Nick Sirianni halfway through the season. You're wild. You said this last week, and I still don't fucking believe you. You're fucking crazy, dude. Go with the history. Who cares? Go winning cures history. all, bro. Winning cures. Winning cures all. Sometimes as long it's as gotta he be stays, in good fashion. as long as he keeps fucking winning, winning cures all. Of course, if he loses, they're gonna start questioning shit. Everybody does. Here's the thing, though. Uh, he's, I literally screamed at the TV. I, I talked to the TV today or that day or yesterday when I was watching. Um, good night. Uh, <laughs> yesterday when I was watching. Um, I, I said to the TV, like, you got to keep, you got to take points. Cause what, I think he went for it like two or three times early on fourth down in field goal range. And they didn't get it. Like, like you, you have to kick field goals. You have to take the points and, and the, where we are in the NFL right now with how many points teams are scoring, you have to kick fucking field goals. You have to. It's showing Your kickers it's, good from 50. You're definitely it's definitely showing ever since Brandon Staley showed up for the uh the Chargers as head coach and everybody started going towards, hey, let's let's use the metrics. Let's go for it on fourth down. A lot of teams have been losing real late to low scores Dude, when they could have been doing? winning big. What are we I mean, not even winning big, but like you take two of those three fucking missed fourth downs, you're winning. You're up six to three the whole game, and then you score late to fucking secure one. So like they're like rest easy, but instead you don't. You play down all fucking game. You have to do this miraculous comeback. Now everyone thinks you're the shit, which I'm not saying they're not the shit, but you clearly don't think they're the shit, just because you kind of hate hate Mike, Mike Sirianni. But whatever, Nick, fine. God Nick damn Sirianni, it. damn you, dude, dang it, oh, Mike Sirianni. Got- I called him that yesterday too. I was like, that's Nick Sirianni, not Mike. I fuck.